Hello, everybody. It's me, Green TZ, and I'm finally Let's Playing again. Jeez, it took me long enough, I know. Last time, we entered the Cypher Key Lair where they're making all the Shadow Pokemon, and this time, we're going to keep going through it because it's a pain. Uh, let me check my Pokemon. I have not been here in a while, so... All right. Uh, Cousinette's fainted. Ramune needs a heal. All right, quick. Okay. Uh, ooh. Holy shit, I've got a lot of super potions. And that's... Ramane, you fucking wall. Ramen man, you wall. Let's get rid of those. Uh, do we have a revive? I've never melt ice. Hello, revive! I don't think we have- oh, we do. Okay, good. Phew! I don't want to have to use two more of those. Or, too many more of those. Uh, forgive me here, <laughs> just... What does he got for an item? Okay, he's the one with the XP shirt. Okay, cool. Tight! Okay, that's what I needed to check. That might cut that out. I know there's a guy up here. I remember that. Aha! Aha! I knew you were up here, you motherfucker. Huma, or Huma. I think it'd be Huma, wouldn't it? Yeah, Huma. Huma makes sense. You've got Sviper and Murkrow. Or Murkrow. Not Murkrow. Not Murkrow. 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 Tips my hat, Macro. <laughs> oh man, we're still a little under level. That's not good. Okay. Um. Okay. So Muto has. I'm trying to think here. Uh, I feel like Sviper is going to be the problem. I do. Rem I Nightshade is not, again, a move I don't see anymore for some reason. It's just not there in the current... The current games, you just don't see many things learning Nightshade. Swiper! And it's biting. Stop biting me. That hurts. Oh, wow. Okay, so now it's my turn to bite you. That does a lot more damage now, doesn't it? Hurts, don't it? <laughs> Alright, Muto. Hit him with all you got. Oof! That's gonna hurt. Nice. Sweet. I could quick attack. Um, just to make sure. Let's see what Metal Claw does. Oh, Snatch. Uh-oh. Oof! Almost. That's gonna spam my shit for the most part. Ugh. Oh, Muto, baby. She refuses. She refuses. Get her, girl. Yes. Good job. Proud of you. Awesome. Level 29. What does that mean? Not a dang thing. Cousin it. Gaining XP. Paris! Hello! You're on my list. I made the... I took the liberty of noting down every Pokemon. All right, Paris is our first shadow Pokemon of the lair. And uh, there's really not much to say about Paris. Being 100% real here. Um, see, well, how I remember Paris is Gen 1, of course. Gen 1, you know, it's actually kind of really terrible. It doesn't learn any Grass-type moves leveling up, I believe. At least not in time to help take down Misty. Um, and Parasect, though, is really interesting. I think in today's Sun-Moon meta, it's going, it's, you know, actually pretty good. Oh, sweet. Awesome. Oh, yes. Hit, hit Ares. Yes! Good. Good. Static. Stat. Oh. All right. Thunder Wave on the Paris. And then we'll switch Ares into full out attack mode. Whew! There's Tungle notifications on my phone. Ouch, that's my sheep. Pursuit. Not gonna do too much damage. Yeah. Oof. Ooh. 
Yeah, one more quick attack, and then we'll hit you with a Thunder Punch, and that'll probably hopefully be it. Gosh. Ugh. That's why you fight everything, guys. Down in one. Ares is the killer. It was Ares in the key lair with her fist. Growlithe! Oh! This is our first instance of trainers having more than one shadow Pokemon. I knew it was this trainer. I didn't think it was, but it was. Oh boy. Okay. Ares is gonna have to paralyze that thing fast. Okay. Um. Uh, item. I'm gonna start chucking balls. I'm gonna need more balls. I'm gonna need more balls! Thunder wave, please. Thank you, Sean. Alright, let's do it. Catch me in Paris! Sweet. That's one down, one to go. These get really intense really fast. Oof! All right, so the actual wise thing to do thing to do here would be to quick attack, and then um, I'll switch you out. Muto needs experience, or well, that's right. This isn't like Gen Six where you get experience for uh, catching. See. What sucks there is I really need to play a Gen 5 game, or at least watch somebody play it, so I know what's going on. As I don't know if some of these were... Oh, has Shadow Wave, too. Strats. The Strats. Since Muto is especially weak, yeah. I'm actually going to try and chuck a ball at it. Great. I'll grab my stuff. Ugh. Jeez. Let's go, come through! Come on, Growlithe! And it's a female, too. My favorite kind. I have a special name for female Growliths. And uh, I think I've told this story before, but all my female Growliths are named Holly. And I can tell this story because... Um, uh, okay, actually... First off, let's make two big red check marks on this list. So yeah, most, if not all of them, have more than one Shadow Pokemon. I'm going to go back to a Pokemon Center and actually probably also hit up the outskirts stand for some Pokeballs. Oh, we're going to need a lot more. Uh, but I'll tell the story of, uh, ooh, Meowth in the Purify Chamber. Neat. So we can probably take Meowth out. Or at least switch Meowth for somebody else. There might be a lot of running back and forth here, guys. Oh dear, but let's tell the story of Holly. So back when I really got into Pokemon again, I should say, uh... This is the closest. Ah, uh, you. Uh, but when I got back into Pokemon, and especially battling competitively, my buddy, uh, Memnon, I used to challenge him all the, or challenge them all the time. Uh, and I would always lose all the time without fail to his uh, to their team they called uh, Saitama Sama and Company, and that it uh, comprised of let's see what was it, a Ambipom, Togekiss, Sableye, and I forget the last poke. Oh, Mewtwo uh, Mega Mewtwo X. Potent, re really potent team. Did really does really well. And the first time I beat Saitama Sama and company was running a sun focused uh, double fire, actually. I used Mega Charizard Y, probably my favorite. Uh, I'm actually going to invest in some. Let's see, what was I going to buy? What did I really want? Uh, revives, I think, will be fine. That was balls. Oh, I can only buy six of them? Well, shoot. Hey, okay. never man. 
<laughs> Whatever, man. Oh well, we'll win more battles. That's two down. We shall only need one, two, three. Eleven. You know, I think we actually have enough balls. Oh, shoot! <laughs> Leave it to me, a eh? Good. Grave. Uh-oh. <coughs> to the right, <coughs> right place, Jesus. <coughs> Gosh. Blah. Heck. All right. Shall we? Back into the lair. All right. So let's continue up this side. I don't think there's any on the other side. I don't recall. Uh, ooh, chest over there. Probably a peon in the way. I'm calling it right here. No, there is not. Two revives. Sweet. Awesome. All right, what's down here? I believe, uh, peon. That ruckus upstairs, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I am Mr. Ruckus. I make a ruckus. I'm pretty good at making ruckuses. Pretty good at ruckuses. Clam barrel and artillery. Ooh. <laughs> Do you think they've met Ares yet? And Robin is like, hello? Have you seen my friend Daniel? Hello? <laughs> Jeez. Okay. Ares! Oh, wait. Okay. I don't want to switch Ramine out. Uh, I want Ramine to fight. Uh, get rid of the artillery first. I'm going to switch Muto out for Ares. Hoogity, hoogity, hoogity. Woobity, woobity, woo. Woomy, woomy, woo. Speaking of woomies, uh, I'm really excited. I'm recording this very close to the release date of Splatoon 2. About a week away now. Uh, tomorrow is actually the Splatfest. The first Splatfest of the new game. Uh, cake versus ice cream. I know I'm dating this video, but I'm just really excited because I recently finally got my Nintendo Switch. I am very happy with it. I wish I had a picture uh, to show you of me uh, upstairs in my kitchen boxing, playing ARMS. ARMS is really fun, but um, like, I'm just more excited about Splatoon. I'm just super excited. All right, let's keep rocking. Cousin it and lantern. More of these. Ah, uh, oh, I forget. Oh, man. Lantern, you confuse me. Clam pearl flinched. Good stuff, my dudes. Uh, I'm gonna double down on lantern and see what happens. <laughs> Amazing. Gotta love Ramane. Just like, hmm, nah. Tasty. Ah, I see it's got Volt Absorb. I should have known. Clamp. Nice crit, fucker. <laughs> nice crit, fucker. Ow. Oh! Oh, okay, that's how it is. Okay, mm hmm. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. I see how it is. So we'll get rid of that. Oh, run. Maybe you should uh, water pulse me or something. I see you like the move clam. No more. Relicam. Alright, Lantern's gonna be the hard one. The hard boy here. I don't even know if... Jeez. 
I'm gonna switch Ramune out. Let's go. You. Gonna regret this, but you know, I'm pretty good at those. Huh, I always get into these fights like right near the end of an episode, like a fool. Well. It won't do much damage now because Flail is uh, really dependent on. Ah, perfect. Exactly what I would hope. Uh, what I hope for. Good stuff. Nice. Cousin, it's leveling up. Good shit. All right. Those pesky mud shots. <laughs> Yeah, but Flail is um, completely reliant on how much HP you have left. So we'll mudshot it. It'll do good damage. Hey, sweet! Exactly what I needed. Jump at ya. One more mudshot should actually knock it out, so provided... Cousin can go first. Good job, Cousin! Cousin it is going bowling. <laughs> he go bowling. He go bowling for that bean dip. <laughs> Jeez. All right. So no shadows down here, but that's okay. That's okay. We got money, which we need for pookie balls. Oh. Okay, I'm in the middle of something. Hey, bruv. Oh, whew. Holy shit. A good long bath to unwind. And for beating that PM, we got TM24. Ooh, what's that? TM24 is... Thunderbolt! Uh... Yes. And of course, our only our little girl Aries is able. Right, Thunderbolt. 95-75. 95, 75. Just as many PP. The only thing that would really matter, um, is, uh, in the future, Thunder Punch would, um, also be viable along with it. Um, the thing about it is, uh, in this, uh, in this game yet, uh, move if it's physical or special. Like, this is, again, Pre-physical special split. Hey, uh. Anyways, it's pre-physical special split, so we'll do this last battle, and we'll probably have to call the other. But it's pre-physical special split, so move type determines that. Ah, plus one death box. Oh, cool. Okay, so Muto should be pretty good here. Muto should do well here. All right. Uh, I'm actually gonna get Ramune the fuck out of dodge here. Uh, and I'm going to send in... Cousin it? Muto is going to... Uh, roar the Dust Ox. That'll be fun. Just in case I have a Shadow Pokemon. Ah, ah, gotcha. That's what you call mind games, everybody. All right, this is gonna be a, bit, a little bit of a long boy today. Get out of here. Muto is scary. Ball beats. Okay. I am, uh, I am down with that. Okay, so who do we want to take out first is the only thing. I'm gonna actually mud shot that Plusle and start using takedown on Volbeat. Oh. Yeah. That's probably for the best that we get rid of Plusle immediately. Okay, so it's going for Muto, which won't have much effect, hopefully. No, it's... Affected normally. Interesting. I thought Steel resisted Electric. Would make sense. No, actually it wouldn't. Actually, it would make no sense for that to be the case. Okay, Plusle's speed went down. Woohoo! 
All right, so now I'm going to Ancient Power that Volbeat, and I'm going to take down the Plusle. Yeah, and, but I mean, it's... Mm, eh. Signal Beam. What does that kind of do? Oof! Dang! That's the helping hand, everybody, but uh, thankfully we have sticks. <laughs> and uh, since we were gonna ancient, yeah, we uh, that was actually really good. Good turn, me. Good turn. Good turn. Good turn, man. All right. Thank you, Sean. Dustox is back out, so clearly they don't have many more Pokemon. And, uh, just in time for us to switch in, um, switch in our boy here. Uh, I'm actually gonna Iron Defense here. I'll just get rid of you while you're, uh, being a pain in the butt. Since Confusion, since, uh, Signal Beam is gonna hurt Sticks a lot more than Confusion is. Zatu! Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that rock steel typing. It is a wall. All right. Don't try hitting me with any physical moves. <laughs> Otherwise, it's not going to work. All right, sticks. Flamethrower that dust ox. Muto, I want you to take down the Zatu. Hmm, Nightshade, which is, I think, ghost type? Or is it dark type? Future me. Put that up on screen. I keep asking questions about Nightshade. What I do know about Nightshade, it is a very deadly plant and a relative to tomatoes, which is pretty crazy. Alright. Awesome. Sticks is on level 30. I am good with this. I am really down with this. Oh! Oh, shit. Okay. Sticks. Faint attack. I'm gonna switch out Muto because... And since it's also a f uh, actually, let's play on that Psychic type and we'll go with Morpheus. Cool! Sweet. What's up, Morpheus? <laughs> I was about to say, yeah, Faint Attack is right. <laughs> Man. All right. Uh, we'll go with another one, and Morpheus, you Shadow Ball, just in case. Yeah, Fan Attack, am I right? <laughs> this kind of keeps rocking and doesn't quite hit the ground. There, Mr. Weeble Hobble. Alright, cool! Sweet. Alright. So, with that battle out of the way, and uh, nothing but more peons ahead of us and a lot more Shadow Pokemon to catch, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching, and have a good rest of your day.